Welcome to this comprehensive tutorial on importing Blender models into your Java applications. In this video, we're going to walk through the entire process, starting from creating a model in Blender to rendering it using Java. First, let's discuss why Blender is a powerful tool for creating 3D models. It's free, open source, and has a vast community of users. Blender supports various file formats for exporting models, but for our Java application, we'll focus on the GLTF slash GLB format. It's lightweight and efficient for real-time applications. To illustrate this process, I will demonstrate creating a simple cube model in Blender. You can follow along even if you're new to Blender. Now, let's switch over to Blender. Open Blender, and you'll start with the default scene which has a cube in it. If not, Add a cube using Shift plus A to bring up the Add menu and select Mesh Cube. Next, let's modify this cube a bit. Click on the cube and on the right side in the Properties panel, you can find the Object Properties. Let's change the dimensions of the cube to make it more interesting. I'm going to set the dimensions to 2, 0.5, and 0.5. After modifying the cube, let's export it. Click on File in the top menu, then hover over Export and select gltf2.0.glb.gltf. This is where we'll save our model. In the export settings, make sure to enable the selected objects option to export only the cube and set the format to glb. Click on export gltf slash glb and save the file in a convenient location. Now that we have our glb model exported from Blender, let's switch our focus to Java. We will need a library to help with rendering the 3D model. For this tutorial, we will use the LWJGL library, which stands for Lightweight Java Game Library. We need to set up our Java project, create a new directory for our project, and set up a Maven or Gradle project. For simplicity, I'm going to use Maven. You will also need to add dependencies to the pom.xml file. Here's what to add for LWJGL and other necessary libraries like JOGL for handling GLB files. Make sure to install all the necessary LWJGL native libraries on your machine. You can find the installation guide on the LWJGL website. For Windows, you will typically download the zip file and set the path to your native libraries in the project setup. With your dependencies set up, let's create a basic application to load and render our 3D model. Here's a simple Java class structure to start with. Next, we will set up the rendering loop. The rendering loop will be responsible for continuously drawing our scene until we decide to close it. Now let's discuss how to load and display our GLB model. We will use a library called JMonkeyEngine to help us render the GLB model. We will need to set up the asset manager so that it knows where to find our model files. Be sure to place your GLB file in the correct directory structure within your Java project. After setting this up, we can now load our model using the load model method in our render loop. Set the model path correctly to reference your exported GLB file. To add lighting and camera functionality, you can use the following code snippet. The lighting will give depth to your rendered model. Finally, we need to create a camera to view our 3D model properly. Center it and set the correct perspective for a better visual experience. We've covered how to import a Blender model into a Java application step-by-step. -step. From creating the model to setting it up in Java, you now have the basic skills to work with 3D models. As a recap, always ensure your model looks well in Blender before exporting, and check that you have the correct versions of libraries to avoid compatibility issues. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider liking the video and subscribing for more content on Java programming and game development. If you have questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to check the video description for resources and links mentioned in this tutorial.